All right, this is Chaotic Crypto. It's where we defy tyranny. All right, well, here's what we got going on. We've had a crazy, crazy week. Um, some some financial uh, collapses with uh, some tech banks. A lot of crypto banks are getting uh, com completely completely slaughtered. Um, you got Silvergate. You got Silicon Valley Bank. You have uh, Signature Bank. Uh, it's definitely coordinated. The whole thing has been coordinated. The Biden and all of them, the politics behind it all, Powell, the felon, Janet Yellen, the felon, uh, just they're, they're all, uh, they're all, you know, I guess, positioning, they're posturing for something. And I think they're already working in it. They want to do a CBDC and, you know, the, the, the interest rate hikes, everything, it's, it almost seems like everything for the last like three to five years, maybe the last 10, 20 years been almost orchestrated in some kind of statistically crazy way. Uh, the, pol the career politicians need to be done. Um, uh, C Crypto Crow was talking about it on his stream earlier today. Follow him if you can. He's just a really smart, knowledgeable guy. Slightly tinfoil hat, but he'll tell you the same thing. But maybe he's right. Uh, looking at the VPVR support, we've been looking at that here and there, and look, we bounced off that perfectly. I was really hoping we'd have more time to accumulate at these levels. Uh, we might be off the races. I mean, I could see another back test around 20 to 21, but 22, but like, I, I don't think we're going to be down here for a whole while, a very long time. We had a perfect retest. I mean, it's just really kind of, the chart's finally looking kind of beautiful and I could just see how things are going to go, you know, and then on up to the bull market. It's going to be still a year of like struggling. got to reclaim levels. We got to get back into bullish mode. Um, but we might get real bullish here in the next month or two. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, hope everyone's having a good St. Patty's Day. Like, uh, well, they usually do it on Fridays, but they did it this past weekend where I'm at, and then probably do it another whole round of it next weekend. So, party time, I suppose. Um, so, I've been really busy with that. Uh, also, please uh, smash the likes and uh, hit subscribe. Leave a comment below. I'll take any constructive criticism, any feedback. Be more than um, welcome. Uh, we're getting lots of good, uh, lot, lots of good activity on the uh, bubbles. I mean, th that pullback we had last week it was just so prime. I wish I had more money to pull. Um, I'm actually uh, I'm digging right now to get as much money out of everything I have, selling stuff. To be able to buy this crypto dip, um, synthetics, they're, they work on synthetic uh, stocks and stuff like that on the blockchain, and they're just going crazy. Luckily, I have a bunch of that on Celsius. Hopefully, I get that back eventually. Wouldn't that be nice? Such bullshit. Um, CFX, Conflux. I'm not familiar with Conflux, but engines up pretty good. Block stacks is up. Filecoin, Render. I imagine the hype will die down the next day or two, and we'll get some better entries. But the really, I'm really kind of interested about synthetics. What's it at weekly? Three seventeen. So we're back to where we were before. Before everything. Interesting. H bar doing good. I love my H bar. Kava near. Just kind of looking, I mean, most all of these coins that are doing well, I think are going to continue to do well. And then, they, oh yeah, Zillica, come on now. Still pretty low, but you know, I'll take it. Crypto Fear and Green Index popped really far, far up, like 49. I'd like to see it come back into the 30s, but I just don't know. I don't know if it's going to happen like that. This is such an aggressive recovery. Ah, let's just have a hard time. Thinking that we're going to come right back down here, I, mean, I could see something. I I could see, you know, come back up. Maybe we could try to test. We fall back down, something like that. I don't I don't know. It's hard to, hard to really say. On the four hour, we're definitely exhausted, but we had a nice bullish uh, bullish volume spike. So. We'll probably have continuation of the move and probably create a bull flag and then up type of thing. And sometimes the bull flags will come down and then go up. Something like that. 
that's more likely just given everything that's going on. What are the daily? Daily has room to run. Daily definitely has room to run on the stochastic as well as, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look, come on now. Let's, yeah, so we have plenty of room to run on the daily. Regular RSI is fine as well. The weekly, I'm guessing, is going to probably turn up on the uh, stochastic. And raise yeah, we bounced off of a 200 moving average with the regular RSI, so heading head on up makes sense to me. The one hourly looks pretty exhausted, it needs to cool off for sure. For sure, and the two hour kind of the same. We just had such a good run, but the other moving averages are looking really solid. Uh, another um, Indicator that I'm looking at. Just, I think everything is just looking really bullish um, with with the Fed, and they're going to basically bail. We're basically going to have like a 2008 thing. They're bailing out these companies, or they're bailing out the you know the, the people with the money. Uh, you know, if you worked with, you had your money in the bank. Basically, the government's saying yeah, you're fine. You got your money. Banks will probably go under, but who knows from there. But what I thought was interesting. This is the crypto crown trading channel. Channel is. Um, open interest is right back down to almost the same levels that it was at, at the, you know, FTX crash, which is good. I, I like that. That's we have plenty of room to run. Also, the uh, shorts funding rates completely skyrocketed. That's part probably part of the reason why we had, some people are calling this short squeeze. But uh, I'm, I'm I'm feeling really kind of bullish and optimistic about everything when it comes to crypto right now. It's all looking like it's coming together into some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but it <laughs> seems bullish. <clears throat> um, we can look at, you know, the, a lot of the coins I keep on mentioning, you know, Zillica, the European Union's looking into that. XRP, I bet that case is going to be solved soon. I really wonder where that one's going to be going soon. I mean, it's so quiet, but just... I think once XRP rips, it's going to be insane. Once that thing rips. And like the consolidation we're in right now is kind of similar to even this. So once it rips, I mean, it could really, it could really move. I mean, we can see two, three, four, five dollars pretty quickly with, with XRP. Zillica, I love my Zillica. Oh, look, it did exactly what I thought it would do. Came down, retested the breakout, and bounced back up. We're, I mean, twenty-two cents is the is the uh, yeah that, that's the target of this falling wedge. I bet I bet we see Zillica a dollar or two in the next cycle. That's my moonshot, but maybe it's gonna be really interesting to see. Very interesting. Um, what else can I look at? This is the total exclude. Total market cap, DeFi market cap. So I'm just going to look at. I know the Dixie completely rejected. We're making an inverse head and shoulders on the Dixie for sure. Probably just going to go down from here. I was thinking maybe we'd have a big jump up after the news today. No, I don't. I don't think the dollar is going to rally much more. They consolidate for a while. To do, do, do IDX exchange tokens for sure would be good. Cardano ADA, I love it. I'm trying to find my other total market cap. Yeah, that's a that's a hell of a recovery right there. Really good bounce. We got we bounced right off the two hundred. I mean, we kind of teased it, but we we broke. Uh, actually. Yeah, the 200 week moving average on the total crypto market cap. I'm just, I'm just feeling really bullish about everything. I really wish I could have bought more at that lower level that we were at 19k. I mean, that was prime. But what can you, what can you do? Anyways, uh, just wanted to say everything's gonna be all right. Just keep stacking, just keep hodling. Um, I'll do deeper dives uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, 
and see where we're kind of going from there. But yeah, just uh, simplify. <laughs> All right. Peace. We'll see, see you tomorrow, maybe.